Okay, seeing if we're on now. Oh, man. Seeing if we're on now. Okay. Do you want to do a test? Um, yeah. Yeah, we should test it. My life and everything about that. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we're continuing the future probe uh, because this shit crashed and we're just doing our best to not be pissed off. Um, anyway, uh, what's happening, everybody? Hopefully you can read me. Um, anyway, uh, I don't even know what we were talking about. I don't even know. But what other stuff did you buy that you were so happy you bought it? You were so glad you got it. You were like, oh, thank you. I'm so glad. Um, I'm going to also say, I'm going to add to that. Uh, I remember saving up to get uh, the Dreamcast. I knew that was coming for a while. Nine and nine I nine saved nine. forever, and I saved forever, and I got it. And none of my friends had the Dreamcast. But, you know, when you buy something, something happens sometimes. When you buy something really dope, even if you saved up for it forever, and you saved and you saved and you got it, okay, something happens. And Kevin, you tell me if this ever happened to you. Yeah. Do you ever have someone that's, like, bitter at you because you got some fancy thing? Did that ever happen to you? No, never really. I never really had the fanciest of things anyway. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I didn't... I never had, like... I rarely, back in the day, I right. rarely had consoles when they came out. Like, yeah, never. see, that was... I mean, in my household, I guess we really liked video games. Yeah. So even my parents played them. So it was a thing like, oh, yeah, you know. But my parents didn't want a Dreamcast. Mm. So I... That's what I wanted. It's yeah. like, I want to play Sonic Adventure the day it comes out, you know, and whatever. So I saved and I saved and I saved and I got it. And yeah, I always had friends that were like, Phew. Wish I was uh, rich. Uh, you know, Mr. Moneybags over here got a Dreamcast. I remember somebody did that to me. You saved up. That's just it. And I remember uh, I remember putting every dollar I made at uh, Blockbuster when I worked at Blockbuster way back in the day. And I put every dollar aside because I lived at home. I didn't have any really any expenses. I set aside and I set aside. And what money I didn't spend on Mega 64 videos or making videos, that was my passion. But any any other dime I had, I saved and I saved and I bought a plasma TV. I was the first person I knew that had a flat screen. I think it was 40 or 42 inch uh, plasma. And yeah, I got guilted by everybody. I had friends that were like, well, Mr. Moneybags over here, uh, you know, wish I had that. You know, I'm uh, trying to save up to get a burrito, and I can't. You know, this guy's got a plasma TV, and it's like, dude, I worked my ass off, like barely slept. What is that? It's their heater. Oh, that's the free heater we got. We got a free heater because we, uh, from a, our shipping company, gives us gifts, and they gave us a heater. But uh, you know what I mean? Like it was like, dude, I worked hard. I worked my ass off and saved this. That's why I get that. That's why, I, I mean, nobody gave me any money. I wasn't, like, rich so I could get that. I saved up. Yeah. God, that was so, that, that was just really annoying. But also, at that time, I should say, I also knew someone who worked at Best Buy, and I got a nice discount on, on, on that. So, you know, that goes a long way. No, I wasn't talking about Derek. Derek has never said that to me. Because Derek gets it. Derek gets that if you work hard, you get shit. Yeah. But I had a lot of friends back in the day that wouldn't do jack shit, and then they would just be bitter at people who had any success. And it's like, well, try try working hard. Um. Yeah, that could be part of it too, Jill, Jillson, that maybe some people didn't think it was a real job. But again, like I, I saved money from Blockbuster, so that you know. Uh, um, sounds like something you'd say is a joke. 
Cosh J says, I bought my first brand new car a few years ago and I had people that I work with who make the same money as me do that sort of thing. Yeah, see? Exactly. It's like people, you, you make a better decision than they do and they penalize you for it or they, or they villainize you for it. Rocco, what's the password for the Patreon flash drive? I don't, I don't even know what you're talking about. Um, lots of Torgo Crankor said, oh, big mystery science fan. I see says lots of star Wars books, comics, art books, visual dictionaries. If it was star Wars, I had it. I did like, I wasn't a big expanded universe guy with star Wars, but I did like the visual dictionaries and stuff. It, it, you know, when it would be like movie stuff, like they would show you like, okay, here's, this is a gaffy stick. Did you know, you knew about the gaffy stick, Kevin? I knew about the gaffy stick now that you bought one. That's about it. Oh yeah. You know about that, right? Yeah, that I it's the Tuscan Raiders it. weapon. I didn't know about it until you, you purchased one. Sure. Uh, so there, there, that's what it is. Oh, Kevin, did you see the pictures of the merchandise for Star Wars Land? Yeah. How much of that shit are you buying? None. Oh, no, fuck you. Now, piece. fucking liar. Even one Bullshit. Thing. Hey, you I know what? I've, I've I'm going to guilt you so bad. When you walk up and you buy uh, Figrin Dan's musical I, instrument, I, I'm going to make fun of you. I have never owned a piece of Star Wars merchandise in my life. Yeah. As a child uh, growing up. The movies now, on VHS? I never owned them. Fucking God. Never had them. And I will continue. I do not want anything Star Wars. I can prove you wrong. You do own Star Wars merchandise. How? And I'm going to reveal it to the crowd. Ready? What? This nerd bought the despecialized edition. Fuck. And I bet he doesn't even want to watch them. He's just going to wear them. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, so, uh, yeah. No, Star Wars shit. I was really into the visual dictionary stuff. I love whenever, and I've said this before, I love whenever they sell... Something that's actually from something. Like, so it doesn't say Star Wars on it. It's just like a weapon. Like, like they sold the Gamorrean Guard's axe. And it doesn't say Star Wars or Disney or anything on it. It's just that pig man's axe. Had to have that. Anyway, in that picture, Kevin, I don't know if you saw. They are selling the, like, sax-looking instrument that the, you know, the alien. Oh, really? They're selling that musical instrument. I'm going to be so fucking annoying. Once this land opens up. Because you know I'm getting that day one. And the only other thing that was there that I definitely want to buy. Kevin, I don't know if you saw it. The, the frog? The frog. You recognize that frog, right? Check this out. In Return of the Jedi, for a second, they cut to an exterior shot outside of Jabba's palace. And there's just a frog sitting out there in the desert. And it goes... <laughs> And it eats a bug and belches. That was always one of my favorite scene transitions in Star Wars. Yeah, and yes. they're selling the fucking frog. Oh, wait. Is it the frog that Jabba eats? Aren't those the same thing? They're the same species, right? I don't know. What is the better instrument, Star Wars sax or Dragon Dagger? Okay, Dragon Dagger is more badass, but better instrument is probably the Star Wars one. Kevin, do you know about uh, the type of music that that band plays? No. Have you ever talked about that? No, what's it called? You're going to think I'm joking. In the Star Wars universe, the type of music that that band plays is jizz. <laughs> no joke. That's been in... The Star Wars canon, like in the encyclopedia, since the movie started. Yeah. And obviously at that time, that term was not used. No. But it is that that genre of music. Like in that universe, yeah, they're a jizz band. No, and that sounds like a joke, and it's not. A lot, people in the chat are saying a lot, of, a lot of big fans of jizz. You know, we're all music fans here. I love jizz. Give me jizz anytime. Nothing makes, nothing, you know, when I'm studying or working, nothing makes it better than jizz. That's why I have a HomePod, because that way I could just get the most jizz, like, everywhere. Um, are you going to Galaxy's Edge day one or waiting a little bit? I'm going day zero. I'm, I'm going day negative. day negative three. I'm yeah. finding a way in it first. If you think I'm going to be there day one when it opens, Fuck no. you're, you're, you're fucking lunatic. 
I, to, uh, there's always some way to check out the stuff in it before. Mm -hmm. Whether they have an event or they soft open it, that's where I'll be. I'm going to be monitoring. I'm going to be looking at my Twitter, to calling my contacts. That's where I'm going to go see Star Wars Land. But the day that it opens, fuck that. I yeah, I'm not anywhere near the park then that day. There's people on Twitter that are already talking about, um, you know, I'm really worried about long, the opening day because, you know, there will be people camping out upwards of, you know, 40 hours. And I'm worried how the weather is going to treat that. It's like, don't fucking do that. Yeah. Just don't do it. Rocco, when you get in the digitizers, don't worry about that. I'm getting, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Bobby's got, Bobby McCrescott's got a good point. Just stand outside with the jizz horn. It's actually got a name and I wish I could, Zach, Zach Weiss said it last night. It's called like the Bo, Bofo or Bofo or Bofio or Fofo or Gogo or I don't know what it is. But I, 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 oh, the clue horn. That's what, K-L-O-O, -O, clue horn. Definitely going to get one of those. Uh, and then I think they've got a Rex, uh, an Android, you know, Rex from Star Tours, like a Bluetooth one that plays music or something like that. I saw that. Yeah. yeah. I, oh, that was the best news of last night. Sorry, I'm hijacking the stream. It's all Star Wars news now. Paul Rubin's coming back to play that role. That's sick. That is the best news. Um... I thought of more cool shit, but I got to save it. That's not what this stream is about. I think I'm going to do a video on my channel maybe where I'm talking. Because I have like 80 things I want to talk about yeah. with the Star Wars shit. So that's that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, Torgo Krinker has got it right. You blow jizz all night with that thing. With that uh, fofo horn or whatever. I already forgot the name of it. Clue horn. Clue horn. Got a smiley face in the chat from Grumpy Nuts. Thanks for that, Grumpy Nuts. Anyway, what's something else that you bought that made you were so glad you bought it? Either it made you happy just because it's like it's cool, or it like it helped you, like it really came in handy. Like, oh, that's the gift that keeps on giving. Killer DLS says, I have a nice LG soundbar with subwoofer and satellite speakers, and now I can't watch movies without good speakers now. That's kind of how I've always been. I've always made sure I had a good sound system no matter where I watch stuff. Yeah. I mean, what's your what's your sound situation at home, Kevin? Do you have like surround sound or surround sound in one and head like nice headphones in another? Oh, okay. And I like to use nice headphones when I can't like if it's too loud or something like that. But a horror game, you wouldn't use headphones because that would be too much. I only play horror. God games damn it! I knew he was gonna say that. Fuck. It's not scary enough if you just have a rather regular. It's surround it's scary game. enough. I'll I've tell played, you when I've, it's I scary. I haven't played enough. Resident Evil Two outside of headphones yet. Oh my god. Uh, Pac Man Trinity says I got a Canon C One Hundred Mark II to do some videography jobs. That's a great camera. Had that camera for a long time, and that would be one for me too. That would be one that constitutes that for me is I would, I mean, everything I wanted to shoot was so much easier and looked, looked good as hell. If you're, if you're looking to shoot good looking stuff on the cheap, go get a C100 because those cameras are, are very affordable now. And, uh, you know, they don't do 4k who cares? Like, is anyone like, what the fuck? It's not 4k. Like if anybody gives you trouble, don't you fuck them, you know, uh, you're going to make great looking stuff for the web with that you know if somebody's demanding 4k for some kind of work thing i guess that's different but ah. i remember buying the s the san diego comic-con exclusive sh figure arts goku for 70 bucks and thinking this is so much money but now it's the, like the most sought after figure in the line yeah pan cheesy that that was you pan cheesy are you talking about the super saiyan goku because i got that one and apparently it goes for like 1300 bucks now but i fucking opened it and mangled it what does a super, there was a Super Saiyan Goku figure arts figure that came out, ugh, I don't even know, 2011 or something. I don't know. It's a long time ago. And I got it just like, oh, that looks cool. And it was like they did not – no one really knew that SH Figure Arts was going to do exclusives like that. So no one really snatched it up, and yeah. it's been gone. Yeah. Uh, and it was like painted really nice. And anyway, yeah, I have it. But it's totally like just face down in a drawer right now. Um, let's see. What are other people saying? 
Son of M Hack says, I'm glad I got a Sailor Neptune figure at the Epcot Japan Pavilion. The cashier lady was very nice, too. I got the last one there. They do sell some decent stuff in the Japan Pavilion. I've been there. Have you seen Alita yet? No. Uh, you know what? I will see. I know enough people that I trust that like it. Uh, so I think I'm going to I think I'm going to see it. Uh, I have Bobby McPrescott. Oh, Bobby McPrescott has an Ace Ventura pop figure that is apparently very rare now. Really? Yeah. You don't have that one, do you? I don't have a pop figure at all. Oh, I'm sure you have at least five. No. I actually own, I think, three figures. That's about it. Which ones? Bob and Doug McKenzie and uh, Kevin McAllister. Yeah, I and was going to say, all, you better have yeah, Kevin those McAllister. Those are all just, like, given to me. I've never, yeah. I've never bought a figure myself. Yeah. How funny. What, what, is there anything that would get you to buy one yourself? 25 from Short Circuit. Really? From yeah. Short Circuit? Yeah. No one's made that? Yeah. Alita's playing on Movie Pass tonight. Just to really? Yeah. Shit. Um, Are you yeah. interested in that or eh? Yeah, but it's on Movie Pass, too. Who cares? Yeah. Um, Shit. The yeah, the Johnny Five robot. They on the beginning of the second one, they have a model that's robotic, like um, remote control. Mm -hmm. If they sold that, I would want one in a heartbeat. Oh, they never yeah. did. I'm surprised they haven't made that. Yep, they never did. There's some, there's some off, like not knockoff Johnny Five stuff, but it's not the same. Yeah. Uh, Jared Thorbon was saying I had a Bebop figure from Ninja Turtles that was worth eighty bucks, so I sold that thing immediately. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's every now and then there's something that is immediately valuable. Like you find out, like you have something and you're glad you have it, but like then you find out it's worth a ton and you don't care that much about it. So you just fucking sell it immediately. Has that ever happened to you? Because that's happened to me. Uh, what was it? Like you guys know I love Power Rangers stuff, but I got an exclusive. I got like the black and gold blade blaster gun from Comic Con. And I was like, yeah, it's cool, but they never really had that in the show. It didn't look that way. But it's kind of a cool little piece to present, you know, and display. And then, yeah, on eBay, they were going for like 400 bucks. I was like, uh, yep, goodbye. Not worth, yeah, not worth holding on to. No, that, that was like, if I'm, I, yeah, I was already wishy-washy on it. It wasn't worth. I don't sell things. Really. I, I typically don't, but that was just something that I wasn't really... Like, it presented itself. Like, co at Comic-Con, they had them left over. So I was like, oh, it's easy to get it. And I thought it looked cool at the time, but it wasn't... It just wasn't worth it to me. Like, I had $300 in free money sitting there. So I was like, I'd rather have that. But I don't buy stuff typically to sell it. Okay. Is it all good? NECA is saying, Pan Cheesy says, NECA would always say for years, we'll make Johnny Five when we get the gold when we make the Golden Girls. And they made the Golden Girls. They just made them. Like they're about to come out. So that's what everyone's saying is it's like, okay, where's Johnny Five? Yeah. That's the so, only figure I would want. That's it. Okay, that's a good question, Tyler. Anything you truly regret buying? Can you think of anything you regret like fuck? I should not have bought that. I'm pretty picky on what I buy. Um, yeah, I, I we were just talking about that. I don't I don't buy shit just to sell it off. I don't buy shit that ooh I might not have room for this. Like people always say that like oh you're gonna have room. I'm only buying stupid shit because I know I have room for it. If I didn't, I I wouldn't do it. it it's not worth it because yeah. I don't want to throw stuff away or. Uh, but but yeah, people are bringing it up in the chat and it's true. The Ouya for me that it was the Ouya. Oh yeah, you that I I completely regretted buying a hundred percent. No. Uh, there wasn't like a console or a device that like this thing fucking sucks. Engage fucking sucks, but I mean yeah. like I collect video games because I and I even like the shitty stuff. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, totally. Like it's just part of the it's history. Like right. that that's kind of why I don't really regret buying it. Right. But uh, I can't think of one. I know there's one. Everybody has regrets yeah. because they bought. Like, sure. Buyer's remorse. Um, yeah, for me, it was the Ouya. I bought a, uh, Play Arts Kai Joker figure from Arkham City, and it was so scrawny and ugly that I was like, why the fuck did I buy this? Did, did I need another Joker that bad? The Batman they did look cool, but the Joker looked like shit. He looked like a, he was made out of a Slim Jim. Huh. Um, 
The horror game with Jessica Chobot in it was the thing that Tyler regrets buying. What? She was in a horror game? Really? People in the chat are asking if I'm excited about Dead or Alive 6. I forgot that was tomorrow. Oh, it's coming out tomorrow. That comes out tomorrow. Dude, are you coming over? Your jizz weren't ready. Oh, come on. That was not cool. Okay, if everyone in the on the camera didn't hear that, he said, get your jizz horn ready. Fuck that. Kind of, kind of pissed me. I don't know if I can continue. Kind of in a bad mood now. This game's more serious. That's why, because they want to get it into more events. Yeah. And that's why it wasn't selected at all for this year's Evo. Did you see that? No, I didn't. <laughs> it wasn't picked at all. They wanted it to get into all these serious events, and then it's like, Evo, line up. Not there. Um... I agree. Kevin is a little problematic right now. Um, it has a Jurassic Park stage. Oh, I'm in. I'm what so the in. Fuck? Yeah, yeah. Kevin wants to play it now, <laughs> Mister Big Talker. Yeah, Evo Evo Japan. They showed Dead or Alive Six off, and they got sh shut down. Dude, I, like, what Jurassic Park like, is, it, is it? It's like it, it. I mean, it's not, but it's not licensed. But it looks like that. Oh, it's like a okay, dinosaur yeah, compound. Well, licensed. I love the aesthetic of Jurassic Park. It's the that stage looks like that. Oh. So you might, I mean, you might be ponying up 60. Man, check that out. Okay. What's ever, what everybody else watching this, what's something you regret? You regret buying it. I'm trying to think of other stuff. Uh, Other stuff that I bought and I regretted it. Uh, you know what? When I was younger, I bought a whole DDR setup because I was like, dude, I never played v DDR. It's out on, it was on original Xbox and I saved up and I got the dance pad and I got all that stuff. And I just did not have fun playing it on a shitty dance pad. Yeah. And I remember going like, fuck, this was. Drum set. That's gotta be up there. Oh, the Ion drum kit yeah. for rock band. Yeah. That, you know what? That was really dope for a week or two, mm -hmm. but it would short out and turn off so often that it, yeah, I did later. I regretted it. Ned is dead. Bought, uh, got the connect for Christmas. So that's a good one. That's a good one. Again, I bought a Connect just because I I bought Connect and Disneyland Connect. Yeah. Because it was like Connect was like fifteen bucks. At yeah. Off, yeah. And that was like five. So yeah. I'm like, okay, I want that just to have it in my collection. Totally. Uh, and you know now it's on Xbox One. Yeah, I have that one too. Yeah. On sale. Uh, I really don't need a camera for it. I only got the Connect on three hundred and sixty because Ubisoft paid for it. Because we did uh, Just Dance with it or something like that, so they paid for it. So then I was like, okay, well now I'm gonna go buy uh, Disneyland Connect, and it was. It was what it was. We'll just say that. Tyler says, I regret getting PSVR because there wasn't enough games overall. RE7 was amazing, though. See, I, I, I love PSVR. And I don't play it a lot. But I feel like I've gotten my money's worth over that. Do you feel that way, Kevin, or no? Yeah, I love VR. I haven't played it in a bit. Yeah. But I have a whole stack of horror games that I yeah. love playing on. But I played a Astro, that Astrobot game was like a fantastic platformer. I play a game on there like once a month, average, give or take. And I, uh, I, I've gotten my money's worth, I feel like. I really liked it. Killer DLS bought a knockoff PS3 controller with no rumble, and that felt cheap. Yeah. That's, yeah, I... I can attest to that. Derek bought controllers for the Switch. Just like real quick, he wanted more controllers for friends or something. And he got third-party ones. And yeah, they have no rumble. There's parts There's parts in Mario Odyssey that you have to feel the rumble that you can dig up something. Uh, Cashew Monsters is asking, Rocco, any thoughts on the cat about the Katamari merch from Fangamer if you saw it? Uh, they're killing. Fan Gamer makes some of my favorite merchandise oh, on the internet. Awesome. We've known those guys forever. They came to game days before, and they are, to me, the the they're the blueprint for how to do good video game merchandise that isn't pandering, isn't lame, isn't stupid. Slick, yeah, those guys are amazing, and their Katamari shit is amazing. They have a bag I think that's like the Katamari dude's head. 
So yeah, those guys roll. Um, did I watch Gridman? No. Yeah, VR does need better resolution would be cool, but wireless would be a, a good thing too. Yeah. But I've still really enjoyed the PSVR. I have too. Can we get a Voltage Vendor 64 hour special shirt? Uh, no questions about that. We're gonna have Twitch terminate uh, your account as soon as we get around to it. Um, Juice Stand is saying, I'm getting Fan Gamer's Beautiful Joe shirt. Oh, I didn't know they had a Beautiful Joe oh, shirt. Shit, really? And gonna pre-order the new Mega 64 shirt tomorrow. That's what I like to hear. We got that sweatshirt and the scarf coming tomorrow morning. I'm so excited. We worked really hard on those items to get them right and I think they're gonna be hot. They're going to be hot. Some of my favorite designs we've ever done. Um, Hila Cloner says, Far Cry 2 was so lame. Where did that come from? Was that did somebody, was somebody talking about Far Cry? I don't know. You regret not buying the Mega 64 vinyl. Well, matey, your I'm... Uh, we're still, I shouldn't say we, Kevin right now is working very hard to get the last batch of vinyls out. They're still going, but it takes a long time. Um, but when that's all said and done, hopefully we'll have, our goal is to have some leftover copies to to sell again, So you know, to sell online. We're not doing another, like, pressing of them, but, we, you know, typically when something is pre-orderable, we have, like, some extras on top. Hopefully, we'll be able to put those online. Kosh J says, my best purchase was flying over for game days last year. See, now, we're this has become the Mega 64 praise yeah. hour. Now, I like that, but I also think we're defeating the theme, which is something you like buy. But that is something they are happy they bought. So, I don't, you know, who am I to judge? I'd pay good money for a t-shirt with Rocco doing the MMPR morph pose on it. Hey, you know, keep your... Keep your, uh, keep your, what's the term? Keep it. Just do it. Just keep it. But who knows? It's no, nothing's off the table. Uh, the Twin Peaks, the return Blu-ray set. I agree. Phil, Phil is his name. Uh, I agree. The, the Twin Peaks, the return Blu-ray set is one of the best Blu-ray sets in a, de a decade like yeah. I don't it it takes me back to the beginning of DVD when when they packed it with as much extras as possible yeah um that show you, you gotta check that out Kevin yeah, T Twin Peaks is a classic show it's got some shit that sucks and then the new one was amazing I, th I don't know Mega 60 we're doing PAX East this year yes absolutely doing PAX East yep. We'll be there. More details to come. Our panel is Saturday. They just released the schedule. Um, those were the days. Okay. Well, I'm going to ra start wrapping this up. We had a good stream tonight. Were you at that time? Yeah. We did a half an hour and then it got cut off. And then nice. half an hour now. Well, let's see. What time is it? Yeah, we're at an hour. Coming back to Florida anytime soon. Uh, I, yeah, I was just there. Where were you? I didn't see you. I was there, dude. Um, but no, there's a very, very high chance we're coming there this year, later this year. Rockman says, Rocco, the Lumpia, the Lumpia was amazing at Disneyland. Thank you for trying that. Good shit. Hey, it is different. I had it at, in, in Pandora. It, 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 does it not have cinnamon sugar all over it? Well, yeah, that is a difference. But there's another difference. Does it actually work? Yeah. Oh, cool. I found another difference that I haven't heard anybody discuss. In Pandora, the lumpia is cream cheese and pineapple, and the pineapple is in the thing. Yeah. There's chunks of it. I think in Disneyland, yep. there's no pineapple inside it. It's just the dip. Okay. I think that's what it is. Which I guess could have fooled me because it was delicious. I didn't even have that sauce, and it was delicious. So I'm just fat. Um, are you excited for Netflix's Space Force? I... I 
think it is so boring to base a show off of like, oh, the president said this dumb thing. I felt like I saw that nonstop when Bush was president. It was like, look, that's my Bush. I just don't. I, I It's not very funny to me. Um, did I ride Flight of Passage? No, I still did not because it was, I mean, I still don't know if I'm like good to ride that or not. But my big thing was it was such a long, I didn't have the time. Uh, I went there in the morning and the boat ride had no weight. So I went on that three times and just took off. So that was it. Has anyone watched the reboot reboot on Netflix? What? They rebooted reboot. I never watched reboot originally, but I know what of it. It's a yeah. CG fucking show, right? Yeah. This new one. Oh man. That one was bad. The reboot's worse. It, it the, you know what though? I didn't like it, but it, it had its audience and it had its own continuity that apparently they fleshed out a lot. Okay. It was written by the same people who did Beast Wars. Uh, so they so they knew how to make a complex like story, I guess. Yeah. This new one is like live action kids going into a computer or something. Really? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Okay. All right. Has anyone seen the Netflix Carmen San Diego? No, I haven't seen it. I got the Carmen San Diego that I I got all of it that I need from PBS. Yeah, boo wop oop do a wop bow. I wish they would just dump all that on Netflix. I know that's just they, sitting there. No, like Beekman's World on Netflix, they can dump that on Netflix. Did they do that with Beekman? They did. They did an entire series of Beekman's World on Netflix. Uh, I don't know if it's still on there, but it was. Yeah, you're right. I did watch that at one point. All right, everybody, I'm going to cut it off here. Thank you for watching the Future Probe stream. Keep it at a tight hour. Um, I think we're going to just wrap it up here, close it off. I want to say thank you to our sponsor, Dragnet on Blu-ray. Check it out. Thank you, Shout Factory, uh, for doing this. Dragnet is on Blu-ray. features the uh, City of Crime music video. So check that out. And uh, be well, everybody, and take care.